Hi Trevor, I'm Jeff Connor, and this is your new motorcycle. Thought we'd uh, go through and uh, check the uh, starting procedure, and starting with the uh, choke, I'll show that to you first. This is the choke lever right here. Um, the choke's off right now. To turn it on, like during cold weather, you just simply move it all the way to the right. But it's warm today, so we'll turn the choke all the way to the left. <clears throat> also wanted to show you the uh, turn signals. You had asked about that in an email. And I'll show you that right now. Here's the front turn signals. And uh, the rear. I think they look pretty good. I think you'll be happy with that. And to turn them on, this switch right here. <coughs> you can see the front turn signal, the right turn signal is working. <coughs> and that's up. If you turn it down, it turns on the left turn signal. And I checked them front and back. They both, they both work fine. <coughs> There's the left turn signal, and the right one works as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can start this thing. The first thing to do after you adjust the choke is to uh, tickle the carburetors. And maybe you're familiar with this, but there's a plunger on the side of the carburetor. You push that down until gas runs out, and that fills the float bowl. And you do that on both sides. <coughs> I hope this shows up in the video, but there's the uh, the plunger right there, and it's just a spring-loaded rod, and that depresses the uh, float, and then allows gas to run into the uh, float chamber right here. Of course, you have to turn on the uh, the taps first, and when you're not riding the motorcycle and storing it, you should turn those off. And this right side is marked reserve. I never really used it. I just always left both taps open and kept track of uh, gas usage so I wouldn't run out. Okay, we'll go ahead and I'm going to turn the video off for a moment and then we'll go ahead and uh, start it. <coughs> 